So let's start with the diagram here today. And we're going to have a simple one. The S1 is the supply and the D1 is the demand. Okay, now when the supply is getting lowered because we might be having a burn token, then the price will increase because we are going to the S2 and look where it meets the D1 at the P2, right? This is P2 bigger than P1. In our case, we have a standard supply though, so it doesn't change. If we have a lower in the demand, that means we have a sell-off, right? The D1 is lower than the D2 and the price two is lower than the price one. That means whenever uh, investors are dumping ApeCoin, for example, in our case, then we're getting a lower price. So what is happening is when trading sell, when traders actually sell, they decrease the demand. Therefore, when the supply is fixed, the price will get lower, right? We are pretty, pretty happy when this happens and we are pretty happy when we know the rules and when we know it. But what happens if we hear about a token burn and the price doesn't go higher? Why is that? Because the demand might stay the same or even decrease. And this is all not always the case that the price will be getting higher in a token burn. So after this small intro, we are going to see what I'm going to do. As you could see, we are driven by the demand. Okay, so therefore what we need is buyers to step in. Right now, we only have sellers. The demand is getting lowered and therefore the price is getting lowered as well. You can see that we have many short positions open for ApeCoin and the future is not good for now. We might be having a buying pressure around where we are right now or even a little bit lower, but I will tell you the exact price targets so you won't be having the question of what is going to happen tomorrow. Let's go to ApeCoin against Bitcoin chart. Right now we are down from the 20 day May finding rejection one two times. The next support level is the 0 0.30532. The most important resistance level is the 0.304063. If we can manage to close above the 0.304063, then we will be going to the next price target, which is the 0.3051743. However, I do not think it is very likely to close above on the 4 hour frame or on the daily frame above the 0.3044, and therefore I would cancel this chance. However, having a buying pressure around here towards the point three O's would be the case, but not closing above. And we are going to see for ApeCoin a lower low, lower high pattern. Okay, so what is going to happen with ApeCoin against USDT? Right here, what we have is the 16.91 being the most important resistance level. As I've talked about before, I do not think that this is the case for ApeCoin and I do not think that we can close above on the daily frame or on the 4 hour frame above the 16.91. If we do that though, then this is a buying entry. Closing above the 16.91 would get us to the 19.95 and closing above the 19.95 would get us to the 23 USDT. However, right now it is not the case that I think that we are going to close above. Instead, what we are going to do is simply having a bank pressure towards maybe where we are right now and 13.33 between this target that we are in right now and then going a little bit further upwards towards the 16 to 17 USDT. But we found buying pressure on the previous high. This is good, however, we haven't established anything bullish and the price could fall further down. As BTC will go up and altcoins will go higher, then investors will flow and take their money out of ApeCoin. Of course, they have already done it, but they will just dump it more in order to go into the next altcoins. Of course, do not forget to join our monthly subscription, Patreon slash Mind Your Crypto, and see you soon with many, many more videos. Bye.